<laughs> the face he makes. I wish he would let me show himself on YouTube. Don't wipe it on your clothes. I'll never get that out. I'm gathering some of these beauty berries to give to the birds. Now these don't, they're edible. They're perfectly edible for humans. Some people will make jerry, oh jerry. Some people will make jellies with them. Some people will make wine with them. I don't like the taste of them, even with sugar. But I do have a great big handful that I'm going to give to the birds. Catherine's over here. She's harvesting some of the red dogwood berries. And she's going to give those to the birds also. How many do you have? Look how pretty they are. What do they taste like? They're super sour. Super sour, but the birds love them, don't they? Because them, it tastes like beauty berries. I love beauty berries. You like beauty berries. I don't. I've had some well-meaning, but possibly mean-spirited people leave comments that my birds are not getting what they need because their cages are not packed full of toys, man-made toys. They think that the birds are neglected because of that and that's just simply not true number one all of our cages have toys of some sort in every single enclosure also the cages are really really big I know that it doesn't always show through on YouTube videos but the cages are enormous compared to a lot of pet cages. Take for instance Captain Jack. This is a Solomon Islands Eclectus. Most cages for a Solomon Island Eclectus I would reckon are probably in the neighborhood of two feet by three feet for an indoor pet cage. His cage here is three feet wide, four feet high, and eight feet from front to back. He has a swing, he has other cages, other toys. There are balls on the bottom of the cage. He gets daily natural enrichment. Most importantly though, he has a mate. He's not kept as a single solitary bird in a small cage in someone's living room without any natural sunlight. Jeremiah's here. Hello, Jeremiah. I like this body. Uh-huh, his name is Captain Jack. Really? Now, he's not named after Captain Jack Sparrow. He's named after Captain Jack Harkness, the immortal time traveling human off of Doctor Who. But you see, my point in all of this is that we really shouldn't be pointing fingers. There's nothing wrong with keeping a pet bird in your house if he gets the enrichment that he needs. If you have 
full spectrum sunlight, you have air purifiers, all of which we have for our indoor pet birds. And if they're getting interactions with their family, and they have toys, and they have a good diet. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with keeping a bird that is properly acclimated in an outdoor aviary with a mate. As long as they have room to stretch their wings and fly and move about and they're getting the proper diet. I really hate that U.S. agriculture and pet keeping and just life in general here in our beloved United States and also around the world has become one of offense and finger pointing and I'm doing it better than you and you're doing it wrong because you're not doing it my way. We should all be on the same side. We should all be looking for what's best for the birds. My birds are healthy. They are happy. They are active. They have room to move around. I hope yours do too. If not, then let's work together for a solution. Now our pet birds inside, they have full spectrum lighting. They come out of their cage every single day to play with us. Most of the time there's a lorikeet or a little conure or a giant blue and gold macaw playing Barbie dolls or playing Legos or watching Minecraft or helping fold clothes. There's always something to keep them stimulated. Our outdoor aviary birds, they have toys also. They have enormous cages in which they can actually fly. Most importantly, they have mates. They have another bird of the opposite sex of the same species in which they can do what normal, healthy, active birds do. Keeping this family friendly, they get to do what they're intended to do. You see, as far as the birds go, I have no political agenda. My only agenda is bird care, animal well welfare. I want what's best for the birds. For my birds, these guys back here, the ones over there, the ones way over there, the ones over there, that big loud one. I want what's best for the birds, my birds and your birds. But I want that without backstabbing and pointing fingers and tattletailing. If there's something obviously blatantly wrong where the animal's life is in danger, then yeah, we should say something. If it's minute little things that really doesn't matter, be quiet about it. Don't hurt someone's feelings. Don't be mean, don't be ugly, don't be nasty. Not to me, not to anybody else, not even that guy that has purple hair. God bless him. Let's love one another, let's love our birds, let's come together for the greater good. And I'm through ranting. I want to say thank you for watching. Please, check out our links. Yeah, I'm going to plug a commercial right now. Shameless plug. Check out our Amazon links. If you use one of our links to purchase a product, whatever it may be, whether it's a recommended product for birds or for goats or chickens or what have you, yeah, I know chickens are birds too, whether you use one of our links to buy what we recommend or you use one of our links just simply to go to Amazon and you purchase something, forest, hush. If you use one of our Amazon links, for us, we will earn a small commission that is paid out of Amazon's enormous
giant advertising budget. Go eat your beauty berries and be quiet. Your bird's being loud. Make sure you're subscribed. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Am I being unreasonable again? Or do you agree with me? I hope you agree with me. Let's be kind to one another. Let's be nice. Let's be friendly. Daniel just squished some beauty berries. <laughs> the face he makes. I wish he would let me show himself on YouTube. Don't wipe it on your clothes. I'll never get that out. Lord have mercy. If you haven't already, click that little bell to receive, noti receive notifications of when we post new videos. And <laughs> share our videos. Whether you agree with me or not, God loves you and so do I. God bless you. Bye-bye.